Stand Against Place Racism pledge online and also stopping by our social media selfie station to share that you are taking a stand today. Listening to the advice and experience of our women of color leaders and our panel and listening to our informational table partners. Next, you're gonna hear a little bit about the YW's work and what we've accomplished this past year. So here from our advocacy committee chair is Brianna Sider. Thank you, Marissa. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here with all of you this morning to represent the YWCA Dayton's newest volunteer group, the Advocacy Committee. The YWCA Dayton is committed to eliminating racism and empowering women, and the two are interconnected. Women's empowerment work must include work towards racial justice. Despite making up half the population and half of the workforce, women, and particularly women of color, are underrepresented in leadership across fields. Only 4% of elected officials in the U.S. are women of color. Of all CEO positions among S&P 500 companies, only one is a woman of color. In half of all U.S. nonprofit boards, there is not a single woman of color represented. And the gender wage gap disproportionately impacts women of color. White women working full-time make 76 cents for every dollar paid to their white male counterparts. African American women make 62 cents for every dollar, and Latina women bear, for, bear the burden of the largest wage gap, making 54 cents for every dollar earned by their white male counterparts. But women of color are leading and want to lead. African American women are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the US. And from 2007 to 2016, nearly eight out of every 10 new women-owned businesses were founded by a woman of color. Women of color have a higher percentage of college degree attainment across race and gender. Women of color outnumber white women and all men in rates of degrees conferred. And when women of color lead, our economy benefits. Studies show that companies in the top quartile for racial and ethnic diversity are 35% more likely to have financial returns above their respective national industry medians. In the U.S. Senate, women are better deal makers. They are more likely to collaborate, co-sponsor bills, look for shared solutions, and work across party lines. Because women of color are poised to be the majority of all women in the United States in the next generation, investing in women of color leadership is good for women, their families, and our nation. Locally, the YWCA Dayton takes a multifaceted approach to racial justice, starting from the inside out. 47% of YW employees identify as non-white. 89% of them are women. 100% of the YWCA Dayton Board of Directors are women, and 35% of them represent women of color. YWCA Dayton's newly formed advocacy committee is currently identifying legislative priorities that impact women and girls of color, and will be advocating for and meeting with legislators to discuss these issues at both the local and state levels. We are also finalizing a small business diversity toolkit that will be made available to all Dayton area companies, large or small, who need resources for recruiting and retaining diverse employees and assessing their company's level of diversity and ethnic awareness. And they won't be alone. Several area businesses have already committed to sticking, taking a stand against racism with the YWCA. Those include Agnes and Orson, Baker Salvage, Brim, the City of Dayton Commission, the Community Action Partnership, Preble County Branch, the Downtown Dayton Ambassadors, the Downtown Dayton Partnership, Home is the Foundation, Linwood Men's Specialty Shop, Preble County Board of Developmental Disabilities, Preble County Mental Health and Recovery Board, Present Tense Fitness, Salon J. Ladner, Sherwood Forest, Florist, Square One, Table 33, The Barrel House, Third Perk, and Twist Cup Cakery. And the list is still growing. Even the City of Dayton Commission is taking a stand, and Mayor Nan Whaley has officially proclaimed April 27th as YWCA Dayton Stand Against Racism Day. <laughs> Mayor Whaley is at the Ohio State House today, so I'd like to read this proclamation on her behalf. From the Office of the Mayor, City of Dayton, Ohio. Whereas all citizens, regardless of race, creed, or ethnic ethnicity, deserve to be treated with dignity, respect, compassion and justice. 
And whereas the elimination of racism can be achieved only with the participation of all citizens in dialogue, reflection, and action. And whereas the city of Dayton supports YWCA Dayton's mission to eliminate gender and racial inequalities in employment, education, healthcare, housing, human services, and other areas that affect quality of life, and Whereas, on the last Thursday of April each year, hundreds of thousands of people gather all across the United States of America with the YWCA USA to spread awareness about the root causes of racism and encourage conversations among diverse communities. And, whereas April 27, 2017 marks the occasion of the annual Stand Against Racism Day, a signature campaign of YWCA USA designed to build community among those who work for racial justice and to raise awareness about the negative impacts of institutional and structural racism. Now, I therefore, Nan Whaley, Mayor of Dayton, do hereby proclaim April 27, 2017 as YWCA Stand Against Racism Day in our city and encourage residents, local businesses, educators, and community and faith-based organizations to celebrate diversity and advocate for the elimination of racism. Let's give all of our community businesses and supporters a round of applause for committing to stand against racism. If you are interested in learning more about the YWCA Dayton's Advocacy Committee and its efforts, I encourage you to email advocacy at ywcadayton.org to sign up for newsletter alerts. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Brianna. Um, I would like to now have the fortunate honor of introducing our CEO, Shannon Isom, um, who is going to speak to you a little bit about the YW's role in our mission of eliminating racism and empowering women. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming and braving the weather for Stand Against Racism. We appreciate you being here. Joining us to build a strong community that facilitates partnerships between those who work to achieve racial and social justice. The time is now. We are asking all those here to raise awareness about the negative impact of institutional as well as structural racism and what it has on our community. The YWCA is on a mission. We are on a mission to eliminate racism, to empower women, to stand up for social justice, help families, as well as strengthen our community. We are part of an international movement with more than two million people across the United States, and we are asking Dayton to be an active force with that. Every year, we lift up women of color who are leading change because race is behind many issues. All women of all races experience barriers to leadership. Women of color, though, experience barriers plus those of racial justice. We see this in women of color who serve and those that experience more compounded barriers as they lead further more to leadership positions. So how do we, Dayton, Ohio, how do we change this? How do we become change agents? At the YWCA, we know that women cannot become truly empowered if they are still experiencing barriers of race and gender. So we employ models that make sure that there's housing, there's education, that we do work that is sensitive to women and those that have been impacted by race in any of those sectors. It is imperative that our leadership reflect this, this um, the color barrier, and therefore women of color, of all colors, um, also are contributing to the fabric of our programming at the Y. We ask that you, within your workplace, do the exact same thing, to make sure that in the workplace, that in the place of church and where you worship, that in your place of community, that you are asking the questions of where are not only women, but people of color. And we ask that you take a stand in leadership with us to, in, to look to change policies and the way that we um, continue to grow our community to ensure that all of it is inclusive. 
As a YWCA Dayton CEO, I take this task very personally. I am committed to, lead it, to leading this through my own servant leadership where I am focused on meeting women from where they stand, to listening to what is needed, and to honor their truth. I am committed to lifting up those that need to be lifted. I am committed to supporting those that need to be supported and staying still enough to move forward in the way that we need to in our community. I ask that you join me to do that as well. A lot of our country, a lot of people in our country today experience racial justice. Our schools are, are now formally segregated, but um, are not formally segregated, but yet policies still show that they are. Policies like affirmative action strive to create equal employment opportunities, yet we know that racism is still overt and there's discriminatory processes in hiring. We ask today that we let us broaden our minds and that we have the ability to understand and our willingness to hear that we are committed to promoting this peace and justice and freedom and dignity for all people. I ask that you join me today, commit with me today, in this critical work. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. As our rally draws to a close, I am encouraging all of you to continue the conversation as you go out, to touch base with all of the different other organizations that are out here today who are working with the YW and with our community to truly eliminate racism and the barriers that prevent those of color and women from being as successful as they potentially could be. I also invite you, if you have received one of these bookmarks that has our Stand Against Racism pledge, to close out the rally with me by reading this together. And as you read these words, really consider how you can implement them in your own lives and in your own workplaces. As an individual committed to social justice, I stand with the YWCA against racism and discrimination of any kind. I will commit to a lifetime of promoting peace, justice, freedom, and dignity for all people in my community and in the world. Thank you all so much again for coming out. We appreciate it.